What is going on YouTube? It is your boy J Man and look, y'all. We had a special video. Now look, man, nobody on NBA 2K24 should have to go through this, right? Now look, man. I literally just got done playing in this game with Cody. And I keep seeing people comment on the video and on my video saying who is Cody. Cody is my, my mid-range specialist. He's a shooting guard, okay? I give my my players names to make the game interesting, but what y'all about to witness right here is, you know, is what I is what the like I said, like this is the problem with the game. It's the overall experience, right? And, and look at this. Now look, I want you to pay attention to this game because if you pay attention, I might tend to pause it here and there, right? Because I want y'all to focus on something, right? Now watch the PG and center on this team. First of all, why is the PG going up with that? I don't know why, right? But he somehow gets it to go. So it's four to nothing, right? Now watch this, y'all. Watch. I want y'all to pay attention, bro. Watch this. Because this is like why like this honestly need to be investigated, bro. Like, out of I'm gonna be honest with you, out of all seasons, y'all. Look, no defense. Out of all seasons, this to me has been one of the worst arguably the worst. Like I've been getting the worst of worst teams. By the way, I got right there that shot that ball. He's on purple, by the way, too. Right. And I'm gonna also say something about this, by the way, too. He's not a horrible player, but what he was trying to do was force points because the PG can't do nothing. See, and, and the reason why some of y'all be like, oh, you should take over the game because you got to understand how NBA 2K24 works, right? And why is he, you see what the PG is doing, right? But you're going to, that's what I'm saying. The, the guy that was purple, he's going to try to force offense, like right here, right? He's going to try to force something, right? Because he sees the PG can't score, right? But the reason why you don't want to do that is because you're just going to get yourself in a shooting slump. But exactly. You see what I'm saying? But if you pay attention, he's 0 for 3 to start the game off, right? He's Because he's getting the sign of, you know, the PG can't really do much. You see what I'm saying? I know that. Do y'all see Cody's trying to spam for points? No. Because I'm like, okay, I'm not going to make Cody play bad, right? Like, look at that, wide open. Why? Look, no second opportunity. See what I'm saying? You, that's what I'm saying. The people I get on my team, the people Cody, look at that. Uh, stop, right? The people that Cody gets paired with on his team, y'all, they're you gotta be perfect. You gotta go out there and give them 50, 40 something points. Because you can't you can't make mistakes. The center on the team is not gonna get a he's not gonna get a second opportunity, right? It's it's if it's there or not, right? Now somehow he gets better with a Falco right there. But this is all going up to what I said about when I was talking about I'm tired of covering status. Because you clearly can see in this, they're going to see in this game that this is not Cody's fault, okay? This is a horrible, this is what I was talking about a bit where I was saying where people are in horrible situations. When 2K puts you surrounded with horrible teammates, this is what's going to happen, bro, right? Now I got news for y'all. Them two free throws right there from the center, that was his only points the entire game. Yeah, I know that might sound crazy, but yeah, that was his only points, right? Look at that. Look at this. Look, three ball. Miss second opportunity. Feel what I'm saying? That don't happen for Cody's team. It's not. We don't get second opportunities. It's either you make it or you, or you don't got it. Feel what I'm saying? Now look, I told y'all Cody's not gonna try to force points. Okay, you're just gonna try to make the right decision. The guy that's on purple hits a three right there. Like I said, he's not a horrible player, right? It's just the team, right? Meaning the two most important players on the court are the worst players on the court. And, and it's sad that that's the case. Like, right there, they're going to – and you see, what makes it sad is this, y'all. This other team was not even decent. They were worse than us, right? But you see what I'm saying? The guy probably he's trying to force points. And you kind of can't – now, that's not a bad look. But like I said, you see how he's, he's trying to, like, force it. Cody didn't take a shot yet because I told y'all, my mind – just because some people on my team are horrible, don't mean I'm going I'm to start making myself play bad by start forcing these shots in here and there, right? I'm not going to do that, okay? Right here, once again, they have the ball, right? Like I said, they're just this bad. But, I mean, what y'all want to witness right here is, and this is a disgrace, bro, right? Horrible shot. Second opportunity. How many times do I have to say it? You see what I'm saying? Second opportunity. No, and this is what I'm trying to say, you two. A lot of y'all are new to this, and y'all trying to figure out why do I make content, right? Look at this offense. Look at your PG. He can't create anything. Look at the center. No second opportunity either, by the way. You see what I'm saying? You don't. We don't get no second opportunities, right? They go to a midi. That's all. Second opportunity. Another one. 
Do you see what I'm saying? So if you're new to this channel, you're trying to figure out why am I dropping content, or you might say why am I dissing the game, because like I said, the overall experience on this game is the worst in 2K history. It has never been this bad in my opinion, bro. I thought 2K, I honestly really thought 2K23 was the worst, but this is worse than 2K23. No second opportunities, see what I'm saying? You miss a shot, you're not getting a rebound. They forcing a three, second opportunities. And this also goes back to where I kept trying to tell you how important the damn center position is. See what I'm saying? It's super important, right? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. And, and Cody has yet to shoot a shot yet. What are you going to shoot one for? To get himself on cold? You'll be a fool to do so. It's not there. So don't force it. Look at the PG, though. PG, what can he create offense? Can he do anything? Of course not, right? That's a backdoor cut. That's not creating offense. Because I can see the comments now. Oh, well, he just got an assist. That's not creating offense. A backdoor cut is not creating offense, bro. The guy was just right there, okay? But again, pay attention, okay? Pay attention. White team has the ball, okay? Let's see what they do with it. Wide open for three. They miss it. Second opportunities. Do you see what I'm talking about? Have you not caught on? Notice how they make a mistake. They get the ball right back. And I'm not saying this game is entirely on the center. I'm not saying that. But he has a big he is a big reason to why the game is going to where it's at. Because he's not boxing out. The PG can't create offense. You see what I'm saying? This guy's wide open. He can't shoot. Cody gets the rebound. Cody from mid-range is chicken. You see what I'm saying? Like, do you see what I'm saying? And all this is happening, and we somehow had a one-point lead right here, right? Three ball. Miss. Right? We finally get a rebound. And I'm, we're going to watch this whole game, okay? We're going to watch the whole game. Because I want y'all to pay attention, bro. Pay attention. This is why Cody's back on casual status. It's not his fault, you two. And like I said, nobody should have to go through this on 2K. Nobody should have to go through this, right? Nobody should have to go through this. This is uh, please watch the full game before y'all put a comment, bro. I know I know some of y'all are gonna tend to skip, but if you skip, you're gonna miss the, what the, the, the biggest problems are. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. Center get a dunk. And we already know that the rim protection and defense, they don't ruin that in the game. That's that they too good and completely ruined defense on this game completely, right? PG, shot, broke, right? No second opportunity. And you're gonna say, why did Cody flop? Well, I mean, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Get back on defense? Right? With another second opportunity. See what I'm saying? They get second opportunities we don't. Right? And I'm not blaming this just on the sim. This is on the PG as well. Because your point guard can't do anything. He can't do anything for the team. Right? But he turned it over right there. So now we have a tie ball game somehow. Right? And I don't think all this is going on that I want to try to, you know, get Cody some looks. But look at what is going on. This spacing is really not there. You know, the paint's not there because the center's near the paint almost every possession. Number 14, he don't know what he's doing. Center for three, broke. No second opportunities, right? See what I'm saying? All this is going on. They get another, they get more points right there. It's a two-point game, right? I want you to keep paying attention, bro. I want you to keep paying attention, right? This all leads to what you're going to see what I'm talking about. PG with the ball. He can't create anything. So now Cody has the ball. Cody, trying to get a look, right? I mean, the space is not there, so you're going to move the ball. Like I told you, Cody's not going to force a shot if it's not there. But why is number 14 shooting that? You ever heard of some called ball movement? You don't have to force points, bro. Like, you don't have to. Fast break right there, they score, right? So now you got to call a timeout. Cody's guy is two for seven. He really ain't doing nothing but eating off of fast breaks, right? So now PG with the ball again. Forces the ball, goes to number 14, dunks it. Again, that is not creating offense because I, I can see the comments now. Just because that's, that's not creating offense, bro. He literally, look at this. No, right? We by the center. Gives the ball back to the PG, right? Look at this. PG with the ball. Wide open. Broke. No second opportunity, right? And I know you're going to say, well, that's not the PG's fault. Of course it's not. But number 14, he had the slowest, I mean, the slowest jumper you could ever put on the game, bro. Like, and again, this is what I'm saying. Y'all going to say, what, what point are you trying to prove? Why are these guys paired with Cody? Why? Cody. Contest, right? 
slightly late, but we don't get a second opportunity. See what I'm saying? Why, you know, certain shots I don't take with Cody because if I don't make it, we're not going to get the rebound. Feel what I'm saying? So back to the center. Center with the ball. Back to the PG. He can't create anything. Bro, and when I'm talking about create, I'm talking about actually being able to get the defense's attention to get somebody open or a look or two. See what I'm saying? The PG's not doing that. All he's doing is playing hot potato with the ball, right? And like Donberg said, shout out to Donberg. He said, bro, just because you can throw a backdoor cut, is that's not creating offense. That's not being pass first either, right? Because you're not you're not drawing any attention from the defense. That's what creating offense is, is, is getting the defense's attention to where you get somebody else open. You see what I'm saying? And look at our offense. It's not there. I'm trying to get to a corner, right, with, with Cody, right? You see the guy in the purple, again, like I said, he's not a bad player, right? But he has to force that shot. He gets it to go. So now he's starting to get back to his groove, right? Again, you got to get back on defense. Cody picks up a little bit right there, but they get a three again. Another second opportunity. That's not what, nine second opportunities for them? You see what I'm saying? But I could, but you see, why are these guys paired on my team, YouTube? Can somebody please explain that to me? Look at this offense. Hold on, time about time, time, run this back, run this back, run this back. But y'all gonna sit there and tell me that this PG is creating offense? You're telling me this is creating offense, right? You bring not only your defender to the center, but you stay with him. So we're not, he's basically triple team or double team. See what I'm saying? So where that is a horrible take for him. He gets his own rebound, right? But we're still losing to where we have to score. So now the guy in the purple again, go tier, he misses. No second opportunity. And this is what I was saying. It's not his fault, right? It's not Cody's fault, right? But it's the fact that you can't make mistakes. It's like when you're, when, when my, my experience, you when I'm playing with randoms, I have to be perfect, right? Like, look at that. Like, you see what I'm saying? You got, if you don't make that, you see what I'm saying? That's going to be another fast break, right? Because you cannot rely on these people that you need to rely on to do their part. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't have no ball movement. We don't have no second opportunities, right? They force a threat out there. They miss it. Center finally gets a rebound, right? Got to do some with the ball. Goes back to the guy and go tier. He hits another three, right? That's what I'm saying. He's not a bad player, bro, right? But it's the fact that if he doesn't play like a superstar, right, then we're in trouble. But it shouldn't be like that. And that should have been a steal, by the way, too, because Cody should have jumped up and reached for that one. They miss it regardless, right? 55, center with the ball, right? Goes back to the PG, who has done absolutely nothing. They're, they're going to foul him, right? So let's freeze it here. Let's look at a difference, y'all. So, so far, PG... Two points, one of four, two assists by just going to a backdoor cut. No stops, right? The shooting guard who's on purple, 10 points, three for eight, three for seven. Cody's four points, two for three, no turnovers, one steal, right? The power for it, two for nine, 0 for two on wide open looks, by the way, too, except for the dumb shots he took. The center, four points, one for four, right? Um, and only eight rebounds. Let's look at the other team. Their PG, 13 points, six for 10, one for four, right? Their center, four points, but 16 rebounds. See, if you pay attention, you two, it's not like their whole team is playing. It's the two players that they need to play to do their part. Those two are playing their part. Like their PG, 13 points, right? He's being aggressive. Their center, Four points, but he's got 16 rebounds. So second opportunities mean something. See what I'm saying? To where on our team, we're not getting those, right? Nobody should have to go through this. Nobody. Center with the ball goes back to the PG. Again, he's not creating offense. Center for three. Bro, Cody with the putback. I told y'all Cody's sneaky athletic, so that's not a shocker to y'all, bro. Feel what I'm saying? But again, let's pay attention, right? They have the ball. Terrible space right there by them, right? They need another open three. Broke. Second opportunities. Yes, the center got a block, but you got to box out. Feel what I'm saying? He's player to have because he got four, he got 16 rebounds. I told you, second opportunities mean something in basketball, bro. Like that, that really means something. You have to do, as a center, rebounds, you have to do that. That's not a, do I feel like doing it? You see what I'm saying? You have to. 
And RPG is atrocious. And we're only down by one point. See, that's why I was saying the other team isn't even, they're not even good. It's the fact that the key players on our team aren't giving you nothing to where we're losing. The PG can't do anything. I mean, nothing. He's, and again, this will make it worse. You're allowed to, he's allowed to play the wreck. He's allowed to step foot in the wreck while playing like this. And I'm talking about the PG. See what I'm saying? The PG. He's allowed to play. This is what kills the game, the experience, you two. Again, look at that. I mean, that was simple. 14, you don't know what he's doing, right? By the way, he's a grown man, by the way, too. So it's not like that's a kid. He's a grown man, by the way, too. Cause he, and I end up almost snapping at him because he was like, y'all going to see why, too, by the way, too, right? So look, look at the PG. Stupid. You see what I'm saying? This is not creating to where, and what did I say numerous times, YouTube? I said, what has to happen? We have to do what? I saw to score. Majority of the games that I'm playing in, I have to ISO to score because the PG on my team can't create a damn thing, okay? They got ball movement. They miss, right? Center gets another rebound. To another bad catch animation. Slows Cody down. Again, he got to be patient when he does. He's going to move the ball. Power forward. Like, you're doing all of this for what? You're not going nowhere. See what I'm saying? And they're, they're really playing the paint because they know their center, he ain't no really threat shooting the ball-wise, right? So look, see what I'm saying? It's easy to read, and you don't have no PG that can create, so this is what's going to happen to you. See what I'm saying? It's predictable. So I hope y'all can now see why what I was saying in my videos. But guess what? It's going to get worse. Trust me, it's going to get worse. Watch. Mm -hmm. So now Cody's going to start trying to be aggressive on defense as the center gets a block. And see, I'm going to say this right here, by the way, too. The center's problem was he can't box out. It's not that he can't defend. He can't box out, right? He cannot box out because he, he liked to give him blocks, I'm pretty sure. He could not box out and do what needs to be done, which is get rebounds, right? He couldn't do that. That should have been a steal. But how many times we say, you play even on this game, 2K is not rewarded. Because look, wide open three, that should have been a steal, 2K. It wasn't given to us, right? So now look, 28-32. Look at the PG, bro. Look at the PG. Look at him, right? Why? Look at 14. Like, bro, what are you doing? Like, look at this. This is, tr and you see what I'm saying? This is why I'm saying nobody should have to go through this on NBA 2K24. Nobody should. Look at this offense. Look at it. It's not there. But Cody, Mitty, got it. Got an ISO to score it, though. You see what I'm saying? Got an ISO to score. And I told y'all, Cody can get his own. That's not surprising. 14 should have stole that ball. The ball was thrown right to him. But of course he does not, right? So now they have the ball. Going up again, they miss it. Here's our chance. Here's our chance. Turnover. See? And, and this is why I tend to get irritated because the opportunity is there. It's not like the other team is just way better, right? The game is right there. Like, look at that. Another bad take by them. We can't get look, second opportunity. We can't get the rebound. That's a dunk. How many second opportunities they keep getting, bro? But guess what, YouTube? I know what y'all are thinking. Well, bro, I mean, y'all center is trash. I mean, but look at the PG. The PG ain't doing nothing. He's not giving you nothing. Look at the spacing, right? Look at that. Look at the spacing. Feel what I'm saying? That's why I'd be saying, I don't care who is on your team. If the if the person who is gold or purple or whatever you want to call it, if they're not playing PG or center, it doesn't matter. Y'all are still going to be in trouble. Look at number 14, right? He somehow gets that one to go, which in my opinion was another horrendous take. But guess what? It's only 32-37, right? You see Cody's now starting to watch the center because we can't somehow stop him, right? Because he's getting all these second opportunities and things like that. Right here... You know, they, they, Cody tends to, like, I guess, see if the guy could shoot. The guy finally makes a three. So now it's 32 to 40. I mean, that was really Cody's only time leaving somebody wide open, really. Um, but again, Freezer right here. Run this back, by the way. So I want you to see this, by the way, too, right? Freezer right here. This is what I mean by the PG is giving you nothing. You see what I'm saying? I mean, nothing, right? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, there's he's giving you nothing to where your offense is. It's nowhere. You don't have offense. You have to ISO. Like, just like the guy in purple is trying to do. And it's not his fault. But 2K thinks it's a good idea 
to put a PG like this on the same court and thinking, yo, this is going to work for them. No, it's not. See what I'm saying? Look at this. And you see what happens when the guy's on purple? He's starting to not make mistakes. He's starting to play bad. It's not his fault. It's not. But again, what do we say? What is your PG giving you? Nothing. Again, Cody slams it. See what I'm saying? Your PG not giving you nothing. And your center can really barely get a rebound. Look at this. Cody gets to stop. Right here is where I snap. Freeze right here. Right here, you two, is where I tend to snap. Run this back, y'all. Run this back. You mean to tell me, look at this. Cody gets a stop. Number 14. All you have to do is throw a regular pass. What the hell in your brain told you to flashy pass this shit? Why? You see what I'm saying? Stupid shit, bro. And some of y'all wonder why Cody's back to casual. This is why. He could throw the damn ball. What are you doing flashy passes for? The fuck? We're fucking losing. So I could be fucking losing that real stupid ass shit. Dumb ass shit. Nigga throwing flashy passes with three for fucking ten. That's why I be fucking losing, bro. See what I mean, YouTube? You see? You see what I mean, right? You see what I mean? And, and it shouldn't be like this. It should not be like this. It should not be like this. We still can't get the rebound. Still can't get the rebound. But this is crazy, bro. PG, no off. Like, bro, like, this shit is so trash, bro. Cody's somehow making something out of nothing. I mean, nothing, nothing to something. You see what I'm saying? He's trying to do something for the team. 14 can't guard his man. Like, I, I can't, bro. I can't, like, and it's not fair. It's not Cody's fault. Look at that. Like, look at that. Look at that. You see what I'm saying? Your PG ain't giving you no offense, though. Like, this shit is trash, bro. You finally get another rebound. They give Cody the ball again. Cody, got to make some out of nothing. Four, oh, oh, dude was wide open. Cody's going to give him the ball, by the way, too. You see, he was. You, if you run that back, he was definitely going. But see, that's what I was saying about running this back, by the way, too. Let me freeze it here. This is what I was talking about where I was talking about creating offense. You're going to get the defense's attention to get somebody else an open opportunity, right? So watch. It's not even – that's just a simple, you know, twing, twing, you know, I'm going the other way, right, to where, look, you see how it got them all to drop and leave one open? That is what you call creating offense. Because if you run this back, number 21 is guarding somebody completely different. But he's down here because the guy got beat on the play. So we're not number one's open, and it was going to him, but they fouled, right? The PG's not doing that. He's not getting nobody's attention on, on our offense. He's literally just playing hot potato. If somebody's on the cut, he's going to throw it. He's not giving you no offense. Right? But at this point, I'm starting to get irritated, bro. Starting to get irritated. Because our offense is nowhere. 14, wide open, three next to his name. Brick City. We get we finally get a second opportunity, but we turn it over. See? And this is what I'm saying. Nobody should have to go through this on 2K, bro. Nobody should. Another block for the center. No second, another second opportunity for them. You see all of these second opportunities? But guess what, YouTube? What does your PG and center have done this entire game? You see what I'm saying? They have done nothing, really? Nothing. Like, run this back. Look at this. One for five, two points. He's not playing. His man got 18 points. Center, eight and 18 Four for six. Arsenal has four points, but he has five blocks. But he's also getting out rebound. All of those second opportunities. And yes, I, I get that the power four 
his man was helping on rebounds. But our power forward is he's trash too. See what I'm saying? So your only two players that have really, you know, showed you something in this game was your shooting guard and Cody, right? The shooting guard that was on purple and Cody, who should not even be on casual status, right? Those are the only two that have showed you something. The rest of them suck. See what I'm saying? That's why I always be saying diamond in the rough or here that because look at the situation that they're currently in. You're not going to win with, a, with playing with a PG like this. You're not. You're not. It's not going to happen. I don't care how you can average 50 a game. You're not going to win playing with a PG in center like this. You're not. Okay? It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen, bro. It's not. It's not going to happen. I don't even think Donward could save this team. Because, especially if that wasn't, look at that, look at that, look at that. Especially if Dominic wasn't even playing PG, I don't think he could save this team. If he was playing PG, of course he could save this team. But right here, look at this. Let's count you two. One, two, three. Uno, dos, trip. Bro, three defenders and you're going up with this. <laughs> Y'all wonder why Cody's on, on casual. That's why. That's why. That is why. It's not his fault, bro. It's not his fault. But I was also mad at the center because the rebound count, he didn't give us nothing on offense. So it's not like, it's really like he didn't give us no impact, really. They score again. 38 to 50. See what I'm saying? Look at the PG. He can't create. Right? 14. He's done nothing the entire fucking game. I'm done. Sorry. Man. I'm done. Center, why do you keep giving this sorry ass PG the ball? He's done nothing the entire fucking game, bro. Why do y'all give this nigga the ball? He can't score. And then he don't play no fucking defense. That's why y'all niggas be look This is why I'm a fucking casual, by the way, too. Because I get paired with bum ass niggas, bro. This is exactly why. It's not my fucking fault. Y'all niggas are fucking trash, bro. Can't get a fucking rebound. Can't get a fucking stop. Boy, this shit's terrible. I'm. You can't miss a shot either, because y'all not gonna get a second opportunity. You gotta make every fucking shot, bro. Y'all are fucking terrible. Care what nobody say. This is exactly why I said what I said about why I'm on fucking casual status. I'd be on gold and purple if I'm. Look at this shit. Fucking terrible, dog. And niggas want to do a damn flashy pass. We're fucking losing. That don't make no damn sense. But look at the spacing. It's not there. Everybody want to be next to one another, bro. That's just terrible. Sick and tired of you sorry ass niggas. And you swear me to throw you the ball. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Niggas is ass. I don't care what nobody say. Shit is so irritating, man. I can never, like I said, I can never get paired with niggas that actually want to fucking win the game. Look at that. Can never do it. Okay, bro. I'm not this one. I'm done with this shit. I gotta, I gotta come out here and, and drop 50 to him at this shit, at this point. These niggas can't do anything reliable, bro. Rick, watch this. Rick, like I said, bro, there's no point. No point. <laughs> niggas not gonna do it. Like, and this is what I was talking about, bro. This is what I was talking about. Nigga, you could have been all purple and you would have lost with this team. This team is ass. And they start with the PG and fucking center. PG can't do shit offensively. Center can barely get a damn rebound. And look at that. Can barely get a rebound. Can't play no defense. That's 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 your problem. Uh, I'm not I'm I'm chill, bro. It's look at that. Look at that. But this is why I keep telling niggas this is why I'm on casual. Nigga, it's the teammates they put on my fucking team. Well, look at this. I got, bro, Cody, 7 for 10, 14 and 3 steals, and we're fucking losing. That's not my fucking fault. 
Like these niggas are trash. Horrible. Two K a lot of these niggas to walk right in this bitch and, and do whatever. You quit, they're gonna ban you. I'm saying ain't no really point to give a fuck no more, bro. No, but that's what I was trying to tell you. That's why that's what I was saying when I'm I was when I when I miss a shot, I get irritated because nigga, the center on my team is not gonna get a second opportunity. He's not. So it's like if you don't make it, you're you're fucked. He's not gonna get it like the other team. They miss, they gonna get another rebound. We not. Like watch this. Miss. See what I'm saying? We not getting a rebound. Shit's us, bro. Ain't nobody shit have to deal with shit like this either, bro. You can flop, but it's it's y'all that are blame. You and the damn PG. The fuck? Ten and twenty-four. Uh, Twenty-two points. Ten for seventeen. One for eight, bro. Two for seven. Like. There's your game right there. The most important players on the damn basketball court. The most important players on the damn basketball court played what? One for nine and two for seven. That's why we fucking got hit. That's why we lost. But you niggas are probably used to this shit. So like I said, it don't it don't phase y'all niggas, man. It don't phase you niggas. It don't phase you niggas, man. It don't phase you niggas. Don't phase you niggas, not one bit. See? That's why I be ready to snap on niggas, man. Look at that flashy pass. It was when, when... It wasn't even that. It was, nigga, what on your brain told you to throw a damn flashy pass? That's the dumbest shit you could ever do. We're losing the damn game. Now I see why you're back to casual. Exactly. It's not, it's not my fucking fault. Wasn't a nigga on this team go tier? The shooting guard? Yeah, he was. But that's my that's what I kept trying to tell y'all. Nigga, you can be on purple. If you're put with teammates like this, you're going to fucking lose. Because you're not playing a key fucking position. Like, if you're on purple, you're not going to win with these niggas. Too. Look at your PG and center. One for 92 for seven. The fuck? 